The following is a list of misunderstandings and common mistakes made when performing the code link reset procedure. The code link reset procedure is the same OE reset process. There are no differences between them. If you set a code or turn on a dash light with code link, simply repeat the procedure correctly to extinguish any lights and clear any DTCs. Each model vehicle, even within the same brand, has its own sequence of steps. You must follow the steps exactly. The following are common mistakes that will cause an incomplete reset procedure and or set a code and turn on a dash light. Push button start ignition is placed in the accessory position instead of in the on position during the reset. The transmission is placed in the wrong position during the reset. E-brake is in the wrong on-off position during the reset, particularly with Toyota products. On Toyotas, an automatic transmission should be placed in park, and the parking brake should not be set. When equipped with a manual transmission, place the transmission in neutral and set the parking brake. Disturbing the vehicle during calibration, getting in and out, or leaning on the car will most times cause issues. Starting the reset procedure with a low battery will almost always guarantee problems. The vehicle manufacturers assume that the battery will be up to full charge at the beginning of the reset, but having the ignition in the on position, transmission in neutral, and the brake pedal depressor installed during a lengthy alignment procedure can decrease battery voltage below the expected level. This will almost always cause issues with the reset and is not caused by draw on the battery from the code link tool. After first referring to the vehicle manufacturer's specified charging procedure, bring the battery back up to charge as instructed. Then repeat the reset sequence. Remember, following the on-screen instructions precisely is the solution to most perceived problems and scroll when needed to see additional information or steps.